Welcome to the November 2019 episode of Core Safety TV, brought to you directly from the National Mining Association. This month, we're going to talk about the importance of underground communications and electronic tracking in mining operations. Back in 2006, the Mine Improvement and New Emergency Response Act, or the Miner Act, was passed as the direct result of three major mine accidents in the United States. One of the requirements of the Miner Act is to provide wireless two-way communications and location information between underground workers and surface personnel following an underground accident. Before 2006, most coal mine communications involved using either very basic leaky feeder systems or pager phones. Now, since then, there are many new systems that involve radio communications and personnel tracking. These include radio node network systems, such as mesh and Wi-Fi, improved leaky feeder systems, low frequency through the earth systems, medium frequency radios, combinations of these new technologies, plus radio frequency identification, RFID, and personnel electronic tracking devices, CT. Let's face it, it would be optimal if there was only one perfect system or technology to address all of the underground communication needs for miners, but that type of system is just not possible today. Now we have many options available and more are being created all the time. The future of mining communications really lies in compiling the benefits of many different platforms, technologies, and applications into a single unified platform. This is sometimes referred to as UCC, Unified Critical Communications. Think of UCC as a platform that combines your legacy communication products with current technology, but also takes future developments into account. Obviously, this can get complicated pretty quickly, but here's a chart from Tate Communications that spells out what we're talking about. You see there are at least five different communication technologies right now, and your mining operation is probably using several of these while also anticipating future products. Under this umbrella of unified critical communications, you can benefit from innovation, technology partnerships, open standards, convergence, and integration. And business-wise, your operation can experience better health and safety for miners, increased business integration, environmental sustainability, efficient staff deployment, and improved productivity. Now, you may just be getting started with wireless communications and electronic tracking, or you may already be deep into it. But either way, you can find some great tutorials and articles on the NIOSH Mining website. Just go to this URL and search for Wireless Mine Communications. Finally, this month there are also several core safety modules that deal with mine communications in one form or another. Let's take a quick look.
Remember, as NMA president and CEO Rich Nolan says, safety is not just a top priority. It's the foundation that supports everything else in our industry. And communications are an integral part of staying safe on the job. Okay, that's it for now. I'll see you here again next month. In the meantime, be sure to keep following us on Facebook and Twitter whenever you're online. For the National Mining Association and Core Safety, I'm Nelson Duffel. Be safe out there, and thanks for watching. To share one of your safety stories, videos, or photos, email us at info at coresafetytv.org.